Yes people, welcome to Chasing Monsters, a park lake fishing series brought to you by me, Ricardo, from Back on the Bank. Now I hope you enjoy this series, with content dropping on a monthly basis, watch myself and the lads pursue a number of monstrous carp, a lake that's certainly not for the faint hearted. We'll fish, we'll blank, we'll certainly persevere though, and who knows, there might even be a few PBs broken along the way. So here's to the current episode, we hope you enjoy it, stick a comment down below if you do and be sure to subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, sit back, relax, get your kettles on and keep your eyes peeled for that next Park Lake monster. What's happening people? It's your boy Ricardo and welcome back to my YouTube channel Back on the Bank. Now we're here today for the first session of the Chasing Monsters October episode. Yes that's right, we are finally into October, the weather has started to cool down, the leaves are starting to fall off the trees, the reed lines are starting to shorten. This is the start of the winter stint so probably the first um, bit of footage I've got in a coat actually. I think the next couple of days are going to be probably between 8 and 10 degrees. A lot's happened since the last episode. Uh, we met the 1000 sub mark, I've done the giveaway. Congratulations to Stephen Knight, the winner of that competition. I'm hoping he gets in touch with me. I haven't heard back from him just yet. But um, yeah, just a gas to finally give something back to my subscribers and thank you for watching. Thanks to the new subscribers and yeah, plenty of content coming your way over this winter period. So yeah, we're here for the next two nights. Um, the lake's been fishing decent actually. Josh being nearly into double figures this month, which is quite remarkable really for this water. But we'll leave that to a little chat that we'll have with him a bit later on in this episode. So yeah, found a couple of spots. I'm gonna wrap my rods up and uh, get onto the dance floor. I will catch up with you guys a bit later on. What's happening? So it's been about an hour, uh, got all three rods out, and I'm feeling confident. Weather's looking good. Seen a couple of fish show as well. So yeah, the signs are there. I just had a bit of rain, uh, so about a 20 minute spell of rain. A couple of things to mention. First off, I just want to shout out Carp Captures, the community Instagram profile that put up people's carp fishing. Uh, shots. If you're like myself and you do a lot of carp fishing photography whilst you are fishing, then be sure to send over some of your recent captures to the Carp Captures Instagram page, or alternatively, you can just put in a hashtag Carp Captures in your post that you put up. Um, I have had a couple of images that have been taken from my profile and put onto their page, and so has Addicted to the Bank. So, yeah, just wanted to do a little brief shout out for those guys. Carp Captures, check them out on Instagram. They are a pretty decent community page. Talking of Addicted to the Bank, wow. The geezer has absolutely killed it the last six weeks. He's had some cracking fish from his syndicate water. And uh, I've had a little chat with him and he's keen to have a little bit of a chat on camera about the, those recent captures. So yeah, we've got a little bit of an interview piece lined up to do with him uh, in the next week. And that will be put into the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned to watch that because it certainly is a bit mind blowing. That's for sure. The second thing is that about three days ago, I got a notification um, from my Gmail account um, from a random subscriber that just happened to write a really decent email. I'll show you the email now on the screen. But yeah, I just wanted to say thanks to that guy. His name's Matt, and he just took some time to write a really decent message out to me. And it's really nice to hear that from you guys, and I do appreciate it a lot. One final thing, the lake seems to be quite quiet. And what I mean by that 
is that there are not many anglers on it at the moment, which is quite nice to see. Don't get me wrong, I'm not being uh, selfish and I don't want the entire lake to myself, of course, but sometimes over the last few months it's just been mega difficult to even get into a swim. So, yeah, it just so happens to be that the lake has quietened down a little bit, probably because a lot of people are now back at work and they can't get away with working from their bivvy or they can't get away from being on furlough any longer. But, um, yeah, it does certainly seem to have quietened down a little bit. So who knows, less lines in the water, hopefully that means more fish on the bank for me. The pressure's on, I'm gonna crack on uh, for a few hours, have a little relax, have a little bit of food, and I'll see you a bit later on in this video. Yes people, so uh, we've got through to the first morning of this uh, 48 hour session. Rod's absolutely motionless. I think I might have had one bleep and uh, I think it was a coot that swam over my line. So yeah, very, very quiet in this swim. Um, had a proper weird night's sleep as well. One of those ones where, you know, you're just resting but you're not actually asleep for a good three, four hours. Uh, so yeah, not the best night's sleep for me solid dreams as well but woke up eventually around seven o'clock this morning and i can't actually remember anything so yeah pr pretty weird um yeah seen absolutely nothing show for the last hour or so so yeah it's very quiet over here didn't hear anybody else's alarms go off either so not too sure what's happened on that side of things but um yeah, that's that. One thing I didn't mention actually at the beginning of this video was that this actually, well, I guess it's classed as my first session that I'm actually solidly filming, but um, there was a couple of days in between the end of September's episode and this episode um, where I got out for a short overnight and I actually did manage to land one. Pretty decent mirror as well. Um, yeah, just jumped on on a Friday night, I think it was, and done a quick overnight session and within a matter of hours I managed to nick one which I was quite pleased with so I was stitching a bit of footage from that because that was actually the first clip that I had on my camera and as I was scrolling through it last night I remembered that it was still on there so yeah check out this footage and um, hope you enjoy the fish Okay, so just wader 24 6. Um, as I said, had the rod out on the spot for just a couple of hours, just doing a short overnight session, and yeah, absolutely rattled off. And I always say it, but that one actually did tear off to be fair. But yeah, come in, nice little battle, but yeah, I've got her in. Um, lovely mirror, another mirror, second mirror of the month, and yeah, so yeah, just had to set up the lights on my own. Uh, one of my pals will just run around just to check everything's looking good, but yeah, I'm gonna slip this one back and uh, we'll see if we can nick another bigger one. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah. <sighs> okay, right, yeah, and that's the other side. She's behaving herself a little bit for me now, so good to see, because it ain't been nice the last five minutes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna slip this one back then, as I said, and crack on. Oh, well done, mate. Oh. 
I just want one picture if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. Definitely. Cool. Yes people, what's happening? So it's about half past four now, leading up to my second night on this 48 hour session. It's been a pretty quiet day all around really. Seen like one crash earlier on, had a couple of bleeps on my middle rod, but apart from that, it has been pretty damn silent. So I'm hoping that this, uh, this evening um, brings a bit of joy. Um, brought one of my rods slightly closer in um, from what I was fishing last night. So yeah, I've got all three rods scattered across three different sort of zones so trying to just pick up a bite and then we'll go from there. Um, I do know that one fish come out yesterday up that end of the lake, um, I think it was a 21 pound mirror, uh, the fella come round and had a chat with me this morning but yeah apart from that I think that's the only fish that's been out um, since the boys left uh, the previous day. So yeah Friday night, you know what happens on a Friday, it's takeaway night, I haven't decided what I'm going to have but Hopefully, I don't get shagged like I did in the last episode from the kebab man. I think that will be eliminated from the choices, that's for sure. Because I weren't pleased that he didn't get my order right. Although, the doner meat that I en ended up eating weren't too shabby. So, um, yeah, not all bad. But when you ask for something and you expect a decent uh, meal, it's always disappointing when you don't get what you ask for. <laughs> so, yeah, we will find out later what I had. And, yeah, apart from that... I'll catch up with you soon. Now, lads and ladies, I've decided to go for nothing other than the Smoking Griddle Burger Place in Gidea Park. If you haven't checked this out already, please do that because it is unreal. I've got the classic burger, I've got some chicken strips and some piri chips with a piri mayonnaise. Absolutely cracking. And I've got what I asked for. So yeah, big up, Smoking Griddle. Check them out on Instagram and go to their website to check out some of their food. Wallop. Right, I'm going to crack on with the rest of the night because I'm about to drop the camera. I'm holding it one arm. Yep, cheers guys. And I shall see you in the morning if I don't have anything. Let's see what happens. Bosh! So, final morning of this first session for the October episode. Unfortunately though, it's been mega quiet, for me anyway. And 
and uh, I am slightly disappointed because the weather is spot on. It's just been perfect, like overcast for the last two days. Bit of sun at the beginning of the session, but yeah, bar that, overcast throughout. Bit of rain, bit of wind. So, yeah, a bit deflating, but we've still got time to fix it. Uh, I'm planning to get out for another session next week. Um, not sure how long I'm going to do next week, but we'll see. I think Josh is also doing a bit of time next week if he sticks to his word. So, yeah, we'll see. I might be able to get him on camera for a little bit to talk about his success because he's had quite a few fish, as I said before, and um, it'd be nice to show some of those photographs to you. Um, it's about quarter to ten now, so, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of breakfast. I'll slowly pack down and get back home for one o'clock-ish. So, yeah, who knows? We might nick one at the death, but I don't think we will. I think the uh, bite time has pretty much sort of gone now, but you never know on this water. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Thanks to the new subscribers that have joined the channel. Hope you're enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next session. Peace. Right people, <laughs> and this is why, straightened me out, so I just fell over. That would have been unreal to have caught on camera, but basically, um, we're here for the second session of Chasing Monsters October, and um, I'm here for 48 hours, just set me rods up and uh, got them out onto some spots. Uh, sitting on the back of a southwesterly at the moment, uh, there's some low pressure coming in in the next couple of days, and I think the wind might be swinging round to a southeasterly. So, yeah, I'm um, all set up, uh, got my rods out, and I just had what I thought was a take on my right rod, uh, run down to the rods, slipped on the edge of the bank, and uh, yeah, both feet are absolutely soaked. My socks are dripping wet. I fell into the lake pretty much. So yeah, let's uh, bring that out on camera. There we go, there's one. And there's the other one, so a cracking start. But yeah, there was no take, it was a coot. The bloody things, I absolutely cannot stand coots. Let me know what you think below about coots, if they're on your lakes, and how many of them are on your lakes, because this lake has got plenty full. And uh, yeah, we're not best mates. Um, I'm this end of the lake on my own at the moment, which is quite nice. There's no one opposite, no one to my right. There is someone to my left, but he's actually fishing until this evening and then he's leaving. So yeah, got a bit of water to myself by the looks of it tonight, which is pretty nice. So fingers crossed something happens. That's pretty much all I've got to say for now. Uh, see you in a couple of hours. Gonna have a bit of dinner. See you shortly. Yes, people, what's happening? So, 
We're through to the first morning of the 48 hour session. Contemplating an extra night, but we'll see how it goes. I've seen very little, to be honest. About 20 minutes ago, one did roll out in the middle of the lake, but apart from that, it's been dead quiet. We've got a lovely amount of rain across the uh, lake today for a good sort of, well, it started at about four this morning and it hasn't stopped raining yet. So yeah, the pressure is near the 990 mark, proper, proper decent conditions. So yeah, we'll see whether it brings anything onto the bank. Proper weird night though, sleep wise. I woke up just, it was dead silent across the whole lake, and I woke up about three o'clock just feeling that it was just gonna like happen. It just felt unreal. I got out of the bivvy, had a little look around. The sky was like a proper, like hazy purpley, which was nuts. But yeah, it just felt really good. The air was proper fresh. I could tell the pressure was dropping, that's for sure. But yeah, nothing to show for it so far. Got Josh on the lake as well. He's not fishing near me though. He's fishing that way. Haven't checked in with him just yet this morning, but I'll give him a ring in a little bit to see what's going on that end and see if he's seen much. Bailiff come round as well. Mentioned that someone over that side of the lake uh, managed to land one. I think he also arrived at about three this morning. So that might have been the disturbance that woke me up. But yeah, I didn't see him until about seven this morning to be fair so yeah I'm not really too sure what time he did get here but yeah he's had one apparently a bit more prepared on the breakfast front compared to last session had a nightmare with my bread rolls got absolutely ripped to shreds by the lads because I went in the shop local to the lake and grabbed two packets of rolls that happened to be mouldy I thought they were seeds when I was in the shop at first but yeah got to the bank had no bread rolls so the boys covered me on the last session and that uh, we had a pretty decent breakfast so yeah I come here a lot more prepared this session brought some ketchup as well with me I've got bacon I've got eggs I've got the works I've even got butter so yeah breakfast time I've had my cup of tea we're gonna fill the stomach and yeah we're gonna roll forward let's crack on moving into the evening of this second night on this session. Um, I've been bivy bound pretty much the whole day because it has not stopped raining. This is the first break of rain that we've had today. So yeah, got out of the bivy, stretched my legs, um, had a little chat with Josh. He's seen a couple of fish show down his end, but yeah, no luck for him either so far. Um, I think he's gonna be reeling his rods in though for an hour or so just to come down and have some dinner with me. So, any kind. Anyway, we're gonna order a takeaway, um, have a little catch up and that. And then, um, yeah, he's going to go back, get his rods back out on the dance floor. And hopefully one of us nicks ones tonight because the conditions are unbelievable still. Pressure still below a 1,000. And, um, yeah, I had a chat with Josh. I think he's here until Friday and I'm going to do the same thing. So, yeah, the session has been extended. So, yeah, fingers crossed one of us has something to show you guys on camera. So, without further ado, I'm going to grab a little time lapse of this wonderful evening.
So, what a lovely morning at the chase for this October Chasing Monsters episode. Can't lie, slightly disappointed because last night was very, very quiet across the lake, as far as I'm aware. Uh, a couple of new anglers have arrived. We're moving towards the end of the week, so that is obviously going to happen. Uh, somebody's just slipped into the side of me as well. So yeah, a couple of new faces, a couple of extra lines in the water. I have a feeling that the fish have been um, holding up down that end of the lake on the end of this southwesterly. It's quite difficult to work out because sometimes they do sit on the back of a new wind. Um, but in this instance, it looks like they've sat down there. So I'm hoping, they've been down there for a few days, so I'm hoping that they um, start to come out of there and move back towards this end of the lake for obvious reasons. Seen a couple of little light fizzes this morning. Got up rather early because I wanted to see the sunrise, knowing that the weather was going to be good today. And to be fair, it didn't disappoint. But yeah, glad I've managed to extend this session for a further night. So hopefully we can uh, nick something in the next 24 hours. But yeah, pleased to be out. Hope you've enjoyed this video so far. And let's crack on. Yes, people. So, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I've just prepared a little mix that I'm gonna put out on one of my spots tonight, just to try something a bit different for this last night. I've been fishing with just a couple of free offerings over each of my hook baits for the last two nights, and I've had no joy so far, so nothing too crazy. Probably gonna put about five or six spawns over one spot that I've found. The spot that I'm fishing on is really small, to be fair. So yeah, I just need to be intricate and get that bait as tight onto it as I can. And then I'm gonna stick a bright little pop-up over the top and hope for the best. I'm gonna get that bait out. Yeah, one of the issues is that <laughs> the coots seem to be going down on my spots quite regularly. So I'm gonna wait until it's dusk and I'm gonna put my bait out then. I've done that last night and I didn't have much of a problem. So I'm gonna do the same thing tonight. So yeah, hopefully it all goes to plan. I can get the bait on the spot accurately and fingers crossed remember last time I done the fingers crossed uh, we had a bit of luck so I'll do it again and hope for the best Right, let's get that in there. Good morning, guys. So, a couple of hours left of this extended session, and to my disappointment, I think it's gonna end on a massive blank. Yeah, just uh, hasn't happened for me, to be fair. Had another couple of liners last night. They're pretty savage as well, but 
just nothing has happened. And I woke up this morning, woke up about seven o'clock and uh, yeah, pretty nice sunrise again this morning, weather looking good again, but nothing to show for my efforts this time around, unfortunately. But I suppose we did have one fish at the beginning of the month, so it isn't completely awful. <laughs> it could have been better though, that's for sure. But it's part of the grind, as I've mentioned before. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers, as I say all the time. Just had a bleep on my left rod there. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please continue to follow me on this mad chasing monsters journey. I'm looking forward to putting some time in over the winter months and hopefully I'm rewarded for it. But yeah, until then, take care, look after yourself. Click the notification bell to stay tuned with videos coming in the near future and I'll see you in the next video. Live and direct man, come on. Please. I said hopefully we get a bite live and direct man, come on. That'll be lovely. Well, the fun starts now, Joshua. Alright, it sure does. Welcome to your little piece for the October episode. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's been a good month so far. A bit of a slow week this week, but the rest of the month's been alright, so I can take one slow week. It's alright. Real talk, I can see you with a big yeah. smile on your face, but two right and all, because you have killed week. it this month, bro. Yeah. Eight fish in one month. Yeah, eight bites, eight landed as well. So. Eight bites, eight landed, yeah. Uh huh, yeah. On a lake that certainly don't do that very often, does yeah. it? Yeah, three of them being 30 as well, which is a massive bonus. One being a PB. Unfortunately, it's the same fish I've caught three times out of the lake, but we'll go. But, yeah. Mate, regardless of yeah, that, no, I, I can't three 30s at all. in one month is pretty good going, mate, on any lake. So, first of all, well done on that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> can't remember, when did you actually feature last on the, on the series? Um, it would have been just before we went to that. So no, it would have just been after, so September probably. No, yeah, August. yeah, yeah, we've done a piece with you and the PVA bags and that in the swim oh, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, so. I think that was last month's episode. Someone in the comments section that's been watching can uh, can confirm that, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. Um, regardless of that, it's good to see you again. Mm -hmm. You too. You've had a bit of time off of work, obviously, with the school being yeah. closed and stuff. Can't teach, obviously, certain P lessons for the this corona stuff and that. So, yeah, I've had a bit of time to get on the bank and it's done me well, to be fair. Yeah. Started start of October, I've done a couple of nights. I had three bites, which was the broken rib, a 27 and a little mirror. I come back the week after, I had a the same 27 I had the week before. Yeah. The exact same fish, I had a 20 pounder and then I had a double take of 32s, which was unreal to be fair. On the same rod as well, which made it even better. Caught the first one, left it in the net, put my PVA bag back out, and within about literally a minute and a half, I had another one and two 32s. The 32 mirror was 32.9, and the common was 32.1. And then last week I managed the 25, 25 mirror as well. Uh, and I, the week before that, sorry, I had a 20 pound, a little tiny 20 pound mirror as well. <laughs> Any yeah. more fish you've had? No, just that, yeah. <laughs> this week, none. They've, they've done me this just week. That, yeah, well, we'll talk about this week in a second, because obviously I've just finished my session and we've done uh -huh. pretty much a similar amount of time. I think you might have done one night yeah, longer than me. But, um, yeah, just going back to those fish. First off, congrats on the new UK Thank PB. Because do you know what? I was a bit upset because I was off for a week, weren't I? And I went away. And that was the week where all this all this carnage happened, didn't it? Yeah, no, the first, the, the common was when you was over it. I had the common, I was in the double oh, witness, yeah. Of course. yeah. yeah, yeah no, but no, then I know that. the week yeah, after that, yeah, the you week had after. The same, the same you night had you had the, the 24. Night I had the 24, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah, so. Yeah, and then. My one fish for the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that, and then yeah, shortly after I had another one, and then I had a little tiny one in the morning, didn't I? But, yeah. yeah, it's been a good month, to be fair. The week after, that's when it kicked off, obviously, the 232, that was. Of course. Mate, a double take, two thirties. On the just, same rod as well, it was, that was saying so. That's just unreal for me. put a big smile on my face. Yeah. That but was no, nice. as I said from the beginning, like the big grin, it's good to see because if we skip back a few months, I do remember that you were struggling. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's crazy how it can just flip, do you know what I mean? I like, any time. For the whole of when we done the draw and obviously come back from lockdown, I did have, I think I had one fish, which was probably what, about yeah. 19 pounds, 20 pounds at a push. I don't even think we weighed it, but. It weren't the biggest, and then yeah, now I've had what eight fish in a month with eight bites. That's it, yeah. 
It's, it's crazy how the tables can place. turn. Obviously, yeah, it's helped that I think it's quiet and down a bit. We ain't had the jaw and that, but it's still the same. I haven't changed the way I'm fishing other than I've gone to bags and I ain't putting no bait out, so I think that might have helped. But Little edges sometimes can do the business, do you know what I mean? One more, please, before we go. That's all we <laughs> ask for. But yeah, okay, so yeah, talking about one more, you're here until this evening, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you've done four nights, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with got the half Monday. break. Uh -huh. You've had a bit of time to get I've got here Monday, so yeah. Hopefully, I have nothing, I've had absolutely nothing. They've been fizzing out in front of me and everything, but I just can't seem to nick a bite this session. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but. Mate, do you know what? I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Oh, yeah, and it's been a quiet I felt one. similar, to be fair, and this, this, the, the vlog of the second session has <laughs> just been a pain because every time I've recorded with the camera, I thought, what do I talk about? Like, it's just the same thing going on and on. I've been sitting here expecting a bite. I've seen bubbling, I've seen fish crashing. The other morning, I see five. I cast the two of them, and absolute fuck all. I'll tell you what. It's good, my um, friend. <laughs> The painful part is to see anglers jumping on and off on really short sessions and having... managing to nick like one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, as I said, that happens, but you just got to persevere with what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You obviously know what, what you've been doing has been working. Yeah, I can't. I haven't, to be fair, I haven't changed anything at all. I did try a zig for one of the nights, but nothing happened on that, so I just went back to PV bag. So, fingers crossed we can nick one before we go. Yeah, mate, but yeah, no, as I said, I think it's great to have a little catch up with you. Before we absolutely get peed on, Let's wrap this up and I'll see you soon. Peace. What can I call him? What did we call him before? Mr. What? Catch the coach. <laughs> the catcher coach is in the building. <laughs> well, we're not in the building, we're in rural Essex, I should say. We've a pretty autumn scene behind us, so what's happening? How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. It's been a, it's been a short while, I think, to be fair, since we spoke last, isn't it? Yeah. Um, been on the camera a little bit, with some little silly outtakes during a few of your episodes, but uh, personally sitting here in front of the camera, no, not, you haven't seen me for a little while, yeah. 